this week's current temperatures and the heat, we're gonna have some turf diseases cranking up. Specifically, uh, this week, I really expect to see quite a bit of brown patch showing up. If you have a fescue lawn, specifically, you can see it in bluegrass if we have really conducive conditions. Uh, but in any event, once we get temperatures you know, in that low to mid 70s or higher in the evenings where our lows are 75, that's when we really start seeing brown patch. This is a disease that will show up just in patches in the landscape initially. And you may see some areas that look like they have a smoky appearance or cast to them. Or they can be small patches to patches, you know, anywhere to a yardstick in, in diameter. When you look in that turf, looking specifically down at individual blades, you're going to see some, some leaf blades that have irregular lesions. Uh, those will oftentimes not go all the way across that leaf blade like we see with another common disease, dollar spot, but we'll see those lesions real irregular in shape. Now looking at the disease, when we're talking about spread of the disease, this is a fungus that does not really produce any spores. So it's not like the rust diseases that we see uh, other times a year where we'll see those spores spread and you can have quick movement. This disease will develop locally from those infected leaf blades. And then you can see some spread, specifically if you're mowing, for example, when it's wet and you're tracking those infected leaf blades or infested residue, you can see some movement that way. But overall, it's not a disease that'll just turn over your whole landscape immediately like we'll see with some of our foliar diseases that produce spores. Now, when we look at management, there's a few key things for, for brown patch. One is hopefully no one out there at this time of year is putting on any fertilizers. That really aggravates it when we're in the heat, but hopefully you're not doing that anyway. Uh, the thing that we can look at though is irrigation. So when we're looking at irrigating the lawn, hopefully most of you are doing those morning irrigations. Doing that at a time where you actually wash that dew layer off. So those early morning irrigations, uh, irrigated turf will actually dry uh, a little bit more quickly than turf that's not irrigated in the morning. So that natural dew film uh, is going to be washed away and that turf will dry more rapidly if you irrigate in the morning. Another management tip is when you're looking at mowing, making sure you're not mowing when that turf is wet because you can actually spread those infected leaf blades through the landscape and, and move the disease to some extent that way. The other thing we look at are fungicides. Now brown patch is not a disease that will totally just kill your turf out completely, but if you want to keep it in high quality, you know, as we're here in this mid-July, you know, we're going in through, we still got the whole month of August when this disease could be active, you may consider a fungicide. And there are lots of fungicides on the market that are active against brown patch. We can control it with most of the backyard fungicides that are out there that just, you would see at a local garden center, that would be a, a lawn type fungicide to apply.